Yeah, it's definitely Bethesda. That's that's just Fallout right there. Oh yeah. Red Rover, come over. <laughs> I might have to like create a second save or something just to come through and read everything and kind of experience the game a little bit more fully. So, it's funny you say that. This, and I don't know how much you've read up on this, there are some planets that are static. So no matter what, it's going to be the same for every player. Uh huh. The vast majority of the thousand plus planets in this game are procedurally generated. So they're different for every player that plays the game. That was creepy. And it fell where I can't get it. Up, <laughs> oh, up. Oh. There it is. <laughs> A heat leech. All right then. Another sculpture, 365. Right next to an eight value thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're seriously doing the exact same thing that I did. Well, I mean, yeah. I love it. I think Bethesda was counting on that. They were just like, "Oh yeah, everybody's gonna come in here, and they're just gonna they're just gonna steal all the shit." Well, yeah. <laughs> so they just put as much random, useless crap as they can. Mm -hmm. like, I, the, uh... It just it, it reminds me of Fallout, where you know, like Fallout seventy six, where you had to build bases and stuff. Like, I know you build bases in this, so I want to have all of the materials that I need, and I assume, correctly or incorrectly, that all of this random crap breaks down into stuff I can use to build, you know? I, I mean, honestly, I don't know, because I haven't started any of that. That's what I've just my, been doing. Yeah, that's just my assumption. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just from experience with I Bethesda. Don't, I don't think you're probably all that far off, but, I mean, you know, I, like I said, I don't know, because I, you know, like I was saying when we started, I'm 14 hours into the game, and I'm in the middle of the first side quest I took. <laughs> what? The game's huge. <clears throat> well, and after I did my first video... Oh, there's a body here. He looks pretty. Um, after I played the first half hour or so, I did watch another YouTuber. And it, it's a guy that I've watched on other games, but he is even worse about looting stuff than I am. I mean, like, so far you've taken everything. No, I haven't. There's been a lot of stuff I've skipped over. <laughs> I think you'll you'll like the uh, the over encumbrance thing in this game. Instead of it like stopping you in your tracks or slowing you down, it forces you to expend more oxygen, and your CO2 builds up, so you have to stop more often. Huh? But it doesn't hinder your movement speed. I wonder how that's going to work with. Um my play style, because I tend to sneak and not just sprint a lot, you know? Right. Yeah, sprinting will be a problem if you're over-encumbered. But your companions will also know when you're over-encumbered as well. And they won't leave you the frick alone about it. <laughs> well, I intend on <laughs> playing without companions as soon as I can get rid of this freaking robot. Well... I said the same thing, but that's... I guess it just depends on how you play. 
The robot won't impact your introvert skill, though. Just humans. So, he might be worth keeping him along. Do something. Is this a midget that attacked me? So you probably noticed uh, he introduced a new mechanic and that's a little different than we're used to from like Fallout, for instance. If you get hit while you're trying to reload, it'll stop the interaction, or it'll stop the animation. I actually did not notice that. Is there toilet ammo? Antibiotics in the toilet. On the toilet. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know that the sign in is either, honey. Toilet pen. I'll check and see if it's the same as the. Well, it might be the same as the Paramount account. Your dad's the one that set it up. I know I left a lot of stuff in that room, I don't care. <laughs> you might actually need to text your dad. Because I don't know what the. Sign it is. are kind of cool. They all have, some of them have, not all of them, but some of them have perks that benefit you. Alright, let's try this unlocking mini game. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key to fill the gaps. Each key can only be used once. Uh, that does not make any sense to me. I can help you here if you get stuck, but I want you to try it out. Okay, so line them up, right? They don't line up. You might have to switch to a different like, uh, thing. So you have four options to choose from right now. Oh, I see. Okay, so that one works. Okay. Well, that's wonky. Yeah. I don't. For one, I don't know the email or password. You're gonna have to text your dad. Oh my god, Barry, are you seeing this? I unlocked it. One credit. No, it's 753. Oh, I was looking at the credits, the value you won. Okay. Yeah. I feel a little better. 753 is nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another pyramid statue. I thought I, I did all that. I thought I did that all of that for one credit. <laughs> what is all of this? Lore.
I figure, again, I'll read these in editing. Yeah, I... I read through them when I was in this dungeon, and then I haven't since. <laughs> Well, that was one of the things I really liked about Skyrim was I would pick up all of the books that I could if I didn't already have them, and I had a bookshelf in my you know, in my house. I'd just throw them on there, and then when I'd get bored or something, I'd go back and read them. I'd sit there with you know my lunch or whatever and just read books. Yeah. King of Hearts. I'll take it. Warning. Damage received. Running well. Okay, so now I'm encumbered. I'll take another Zen Garden, though. O2 is consumed with exertion such as sprinting, melee attacks, and jumping. So this creeping is not going to exert me. It is. Slowly. But you stop more often. I suppose I should probably so, stop picking up everything can, then. Can I give you a hint? Oh, I see the O2 down there in the bottom. Yeah, well, it would be besides that to leave some things behind while I am programming for maybe go into your start menu. <laughs> see, I told you there's going to be anything about it. Um, yeah, you can dump a bunch of stuff off with Vasco. You also can double check your weapons to make sure you're not holding on to multiples of certain weapons. Because you're... They don't degrade. The way they do with, um... Holy crap, I picked up so much random shit. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to get your digipix back, though. Oh yeah, probably. <clears throat> Let's see, I'm not using... I'm not using... I got this, not using that. I have three of them, okay. I just, I just drop what the extras. Like you have... Uh... Cutters, for instance, you only need one. Or was... maelstroms for rescue axes. I just give it all to Vasco. <laughs> and he'll be over encumbered. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I mean, but you don't, you don't need all that stuff, though. I should probably be a little bit more aware of what I'm stealing, though. Yeah. <laughs> you love that mining laser. <laughs> hey, it's unlimited ammo. It's nice. Danger. Oh, you guys are up there. I have detected hostile life nearby. Until I get better with my stealth and get like a silencer and stuff, yeah, I'm gonna use this mining laser. <laughs> Just burn that guy's face off. Hey, yeah, he didn't need it. Go, go, go! <laughs> Man, 
I love Vasco. I wasn't even listening. Islands significantly de decreases one's life expectancy. <sighs> Loot. A weapon case. Okay. Oh, it's one of those creepy things I killed. A meal pack. Chicken. <laughs> yes. Okay. Vasco, get out of the way. You're in the way. Thank you. I do appreciate that he stumbles a little bit when you smack him. Yeah. I've played other games with companions where they just stand there and don't move. See, they detected Vasco. Sentence uh, Danny Masterson to 30 years to life. Oh. Pirate Assault Space Suit. Apparently not. Wait, Danny Masterson, that's Hyde, isn't it? It is. Yeah, 30 years to life for rape. Okay. He's an idiot. <laughs> I mean, threw his whole life away. Oh, dude, Wolverine was here. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get signed in? Pretty good. Discord. Credit stick, yep. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted.
Well, I'm glad there's not like a timer on these. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Deep mining space helmet. All right. I'm going to take those desk sculptures. Get the Crimson Fleet, unlock the safe. Oh, Jesus. That startled me. <laughs> Just wants to suck your face off. We're all dead. Classic alien threat. Right? <laughs> I might as well unlock this too. It's optional. And more people screaming. I don't know why you wouldn't. Got an amp and credits. All right, money. Vasco, you creep me out. He's a creepy character. I just turn around and there's this big weird looking robot behind me. Although, I actually do like his design. It's pretty cool. Concussive rip shank. Okay, nice. let's check that out. There's legendary prison weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, why not? We'll put it in place of this. A little less damage, but what the hell. Oh, I, I picked up... Maybe uh, you'll do a melee build instead. I mean, I'm I'm sneaky, so... Start shanking everybody you find. I ran out of O2. Further exertion... How did I run out? Oh, different... Uh, suits? Oh, that looks bad. It's dressed like a pirate day. Oh, I, I like this a lot. Oh, I'm detected. <laughs> the Frontier has a new captain. Rondy. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Uh, that's right, I killed him. <laughs> oh, no, you see. We weren't really after Barrett. Or after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the Frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. Frontier has been <laughs> should join the Crimson, moon, Crimson Fleet. But the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. Thanks, Vasco. What kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say? We're taking that ship. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose we can just agree to disagree. No hard feelings. <laughs> You're not 
<laughs> I'm talking us out of this score. <laughs> I played pretty sarcastic too. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to trade ships, that sounds good. The frontier creaks when it turns anyway. <laughs> do, the, do the do the plus five. The hard option. Yeah. So you got past a few <laughs> rooks. You get three yeah. attempts. Huh. Give it a shot. <laughs> I'm not falling for that. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. I just offered to trade it. That doesn't work. Bullshit. I've heard enough out of you. Count yeah. them! Yeah, do the flip one. Something of a history. They always assume. So funny story. I never had a conversation with that guy. When I came out the door, I immediately threw a grenade. Then the conversation system prompted and he blew up. That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> I mean, there were three of them standing there. What'd you expect me to do? Fast travel to your ship. Oh. No. I'm gonna kill these guys. Pirate assault spacesuit? Is that what I already have? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I understand you wish to kill us. <laughs> I understand you wish to kill us. <laughs> Looking for a way down. We have located the enemy. <laughs> Vasco just jumped. Yeah, I followed him down. Whoa. <laughs> I keep forgetting A is not jump. Well, the assault rifle did make short work of them. The survey tool. There was something just. Thought there was something. Jump to the planet 
jettison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. <laughs> okay. Well, actually I feel like that's a rather long video here, so I'm going to end that one here and uh, we'll go to Alpha Centauri next. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me. Help me grow. Uh, leave any comments down below. What do you think of the game? What do you think of uh, the videos? You know, my commentary bear joining me, all that stuff. Just let me know what you think. I like to read those. So we'll see you next time. And until then, as always, keep on gaming.